To create custom Cortana commands, we're going to use Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. Okay, and we're just going to start a new project, and it's going to be a Visual C Sharp Universal application. And you might have to install this. If you if you don't have it installed, just press OK. And to do that, we're just going to call us Custom Cortana Definitions. And you'll see in a moment that you have to have Developer Mode enabled, otherwise it'll give you an alert. That's not a problem. I'm just going to start, and then we'll search settings for developers and then we'll just enable one button and that'll be that so yeah just say developer mode and then go yes and then that's good we can proceed okay and then it will load your template and then the first thing you gotta do to, for this is you gotta add your XML file and this is where we're gonna define our voice command definitions which is what Cortana is gonna actually listen to okay so just add an XML file, and we're going to call this, you know, custom voice command definitions. Sure. Now I'm going to go through this fast because I'm showing you the process, not the actual code. The code will be in the description in a GitHub repository. But in short, we create a command or a voice commands tag, and then we access the URL. Then we have a command set, and it's going to be in American English, and then we're going to just call this, you know custom command set. And the command set has a has a command prefix, which means you'll say listen up and then cor custom Cortana will know, okay, this is the custom command set. And you can have some examples of the sorts of things that you'll say. I don't I don't have any good ideas. And then you have your command. And you can have multiple commands here, but this one is gonna, gonna be called shut down computer. We'll just shut the, down the computer. So in this case you could go, you know, listen up shut down the computer and you can have multiple so we'll also have power off or I'm going to bed and then Cortana will provide feed feedback so she'll say she'll always start with like all right or sure or okay and then she'll say feedback so in this case she'll say all right I'll turn myself off and then you have a navigate to navigate tag that opens and closes on the same line after you add your XML file, we need to go to app.xaml.cs. And this is where we're going to define what she does. So we need some packages. So windows.media.speech recognition, windows.applicationmodel.voice commands, and windows.storage, just to pick up our file. And then just for now, we're going to use diagnostics to debug and pop ups. So we can you know, have an alert or something. Okay, and then now in the bottom of on launched, we're going to have this command. So we're going to load the storage file, and then we're going to install the command definitions from storage file. Again, I'm more interested in showing you the actual, you know, where things go as opposed to the code. The code will be copy and pasteable from below. And then if that doesn't go according to plan, we'll just do it trying to catch. So that, again, that's at the bottom of on launched and it needs to be asynchronous and now we have on activated so we'll do protected override on activated and we'll just keep their template and then we'll go make this asynchronous as well and then we'll go if args.kind equals activation kind of voice command get the command and then get the result from the command so speech recognition result result equals command dot result and then we're going to get the command name, which is what we defined in the XML file. This is important. So command name equals result dot rule path in the first index. And then we'll just make a switch. So in the future, we'll have mul multiple commands. Right now, we only have one, but let's do a switch. So in the case of shut down the computer, which you'll see, remember, we defined there, you'll do something. Uh, let's just finish the switch. Um, you know, if you don't, if we don't find it, we'll just write something. Okay, in hindsight, shutting down the computer isn't a good idea for this demonstration, so this is where I would do it, but instead of doing that, let's make a pop-up. So we'll just define our pop-up up here, and then give it content. This is where I would shut down the computer. And we'll just show that at the end there, and it's asynchronous, so let's use a wait, and then close that, and now we can compile it. And I did cut down quite a bit of footage here because it 
took a while to compile, it took about four minutes on my slow computer. But after it does that, you'll see this dialog box and then keep your eye on the bottom left. It's after it's a sol solid ready, you've successfully registered your voice command definition with Cortana and you can use it um, from now on, which is pretty neat. So before I show that, let's uh, go back to our XML file and we'll remind ourselves of what we gotta say. So in the command name, there you have the prefix and then you have the listen for. And so we can just go give that a go. So hey Cortana, listen up, I'm going to bed. There you go, and you can see she ran that, and that worked out great. So thanks for watching.